Good afternoon, everyone. It's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. I'm back to varnish. This is Americana Decor um, Soft Touch Varnish. Um, I have a different type as well that I bought to, to try, but the other isn't, hasn't run out yet. But this is also Art Deco and then it's Media Soft Touch Varnish. And it's, you can tell that it's separated, but I'll, I would super mix it. Um, and then I also have, oops, I knocked over my Yodas. They don't stay up very well on there, but anyway, this is a new jar of the Americana. Um, and so oops, I have that for when this is done, but I kind of want to test that little one. First, the little one I think was cheaper, so I thought, well... Um, and I do put a plastic, um, just a piece of plastic over top. It's um, best to change it out each time, because as you can tell, it kind of adheres. So I am going to put a new piece on. I just put a little bit of plastic crap is all, and that just keeps it. And see, it's kind of separated a little in there. Um, I do have diatomaceous earth mixed in already. That's gonna mat it for me. And so it's kind of, kind of thick, um, if you can see that. And so I just like to really, really good mix, mix, mix. Mix up really, really well. And then I also have um, a sponge to apply it, um, but sometimes I end up like brushing the stuff on and then uh, even even coats with the other. So I have to buy a um, belly plate. Um, I have it in a bag, so I'm gonna take that out of the bag when I get there. But I thought I would start with Tobaya, and so here she is. It's kind of cloudy out today and a bit on the snowy side. Most of the snow has actually gone away, so. And I think I want to start with a limb instead of the head. And just as a, in case, just in case sort of thing, I don't know. And I really like how her coloring turned out. I think she's beautiful. Okay. So. Under normal circumstances, I would brush some on Is that my own paint. I was just painting my Yodas. I was finishing finishing the ears. Let's see if I can. There we go. There's a Yoda. Hm. That's one Yoda. There's a second large one, and then I was also working on this little one. So I'm going to um, be sealing three of those with Tobaya, so I've been kind of waiting to seal Tobaya until they were ready, and yeah. So what I do is I do one even coat, and just kind of, you know, spread it all out so you shouldn't have any um, white at all. And it's always difficult to get in these little spaces, but that's okay. We'll we're gonna go over them a couple of times. Sometimes I don't really mind like a little bit of shine in the crease. I I don't know. I kind of like it. Just a little though of shine in the crease. Okay, so I just want a little bit more. And I like to put it in a big open area and then spread out the varnish over the rest of the kit or the piece that I'm working on, I guess. And then don't leave it to set for too long because we don't want it. To, don't leave it to sit. There we go. Because you don't want it to set. There we go. And of course they got little hairs coming up. I just try to get off as many as possible. I really should have some tweezers over here. 
but I don't. Right now I had I had my husband's pair over here in court, then he needs them. Never uses tweezers, but it has to, you know, just in case kind of thing. So I'm going to go over this baby a couple more times. I like to do at least, I'm trying to get a hair off there, there we go. Um, at least two coats of varnish just to create a protective layer and then of course the shine, take the shine away. I should keep this sponge in a bag. That way it doesn't collect um, lint. Need a touch more. And then periodically you'll want to stir that. So like usually after a limb before I start the next I will give the mixture a good stir again. Okay, so let's compare. Hopefully I was in frame, but you can see the top here has been varnished and the bottom has not. And so you can see like the shine. And then, uh, you know, there's still a little bit of shine, but we'll knock that down some more with the next coat. And I'm still seeing a hair here that I don't like. Try to remove it. Okay. Ouch. So, um, let's grab a leg. So I think I'm still dealing with um, blood clots. I'm not really sure if they go away or can go away. I forgot to stir this. Um, like I've had some blood clots in my left leg. I've had varicose veins for years and um, I don't really, you know, I, I sit and do like everything, right? So I sit and I sew, I sit and paint, I um, sit on the computer and list things on my website and things for sale, right? So I'm not really doing any running around. And so I noticed like I was getting some bumps, like felt like squishy peas under my skin in my knee. And the first time I noticed it was um, Oh, it was, I, like, my knee felt really hot, and, like, I was just sitting in bed, and then I put, pulled my knees up to get more comfortable in another position, because we watch, um, a TV show at night before bed, and so to get a little bit more comfortable, I pulled my knees up, and my left knee felt like it was burning, and when I touched it, there was, like, a, a squishy lump just on just before like the bone um so I thought well what in the world so I looked it up um and my husband said something about it called like fluid on the knee or something and I'm like is that really what it's called so I look it up and sure enough that's what it 
looked like and felt like because it was just hot right on my knee. It was weird. And then um, the next morning, like, um, it really burned when I would stand up and walk, of course. And I don't have a family doctor. So, um, and then we have walk-in clinics here, but I'm pretty sure they haven't opened them back up since the whole virus thing. So, um, I can't just go see a doctor. So, um, anyhow, uh, the little spot turned into, like, a little, you know, pea-like shape under my skin. And it didn't hurt to touch it, but it was squishy. And uh, anyhow, um, after about, I think like a month or two, it got really hard. And it was still there on my knee, but just, it was, like I said, it was really hard. To, and um, it was, like if I touched it, not like a lot, but if I touched it even a little bit, I see a little hair on here. Um, if I touched it a little, my knee would bruise. Like, I would have a bruise there. I I bruise easily. I always have. Um, so there's that. And then when you do keto, you do there's bruising that uh, can occur too. And I keep forgetting to check why that is. But it doesn't hurt or anything, so I just live. Um... So anyhow, the, um, I've got two spots, uh, I guess I could show you on little Tobias' leg, but, so I've got like two spots near the, like on, one on the kneecap and one just kind of next to it, and, um, if I'm sitting, um, with my leg, you know, bent in, for very long my leg will start to get a burning sensation and hurt. And so anyhow, um, I looked online to for what to do with these um, clots and I heard, you know, vitamin E will break them up and stuff. So I've been taking some vitamin E, which vitamin E is expensive, like if you buy a good vitamin E. It's expensive. It's not cheap. So, um, I bought a bottle with 60 because you can like get either 60 or 30. So I got a bottle of 60 for now to just test and see if it's helping. So um, I take a pill at lunchtime with food. That's my first meal of the day is, is lunchtime. And um, so that's when I have my other vitamins as well. Which I I take um, not very many was it three others so I take four pills with the vitamin E and so I notice like I get that burning sensation in my leg or I was I haven't lately but that's because I've been taking it for like a week um, or two now I can't remember and um, the I'll get like the pain and then I notice like the pain will move from my um, leg up into like my back and also into my head. Like I'll get like a kind of a sharp pain in my head or in my chest um, and it's kind of, it's just sudden and then it like goes away. And it's, it's really weird. I don't... Um, sometimes the pain or the feeling will last a little longer than I would like. And I get kind of panicked. But I really don't want to go to the hospital or anything. So I'm just hoping and praying that the vitamin E is going to work and I'll be fine. So, but like I said, I, there's some days where I don't have any, any pain, any, you know, I still have the little bumps there in my knee, um, which are, like I said, they're pretty rigid, and then if I touch them, my knee will get, 
Um, oh, what's uh, my knee will get like a, um, a bruise. It still looks a little on the. I don't know if you can see his foot. No, you can't see her. Well, her foot. Sorry. Oh, okay. Tobiah, it sounds like a boy name, so I think it is. I don't know what the mommy's going to name her, actually. Um, this might be one that you have to see the finished baby to know the, or to be able to, like, choose a name kind of thing or see in person. lighting isn't very good today like it's it's really cloudy out there and miserable I did get the new eyes that arrived I got pictures of all of them so I'm going to get them listed on my website um, which is cute and cuddly nursery.com um, you can throw the W's in there if you would like and it'll take you to my website. So. Um, I haven't got the eyes listed yet as of the time of this video. Um, hopefully by the time the video goes up um, I will have them listed. So, And I always put oops, there's a hair in there. I always put the link to my um, shop and everything in the description. So check that out. Um, I hope to have some cuddle babies as well as my Yodas up on there. So, hopefully, I was hoping to have them ready, um, for Christmas. Um, I don't know right now. I don't think that they would get to where they needed to be for Christmas at this point, like, I've heard so many people saying that UP or UPS, USPS is not being very reliable right now. I actually even have, um, I sent my in-laws a gift and normally like Pure Leader is usually really good. And then I saw like there was, um, like, you know, their tracking is, is really good. They get everything out right away. But I'm guessing because of the Christmas um, rush and everything, it said that there was miscommunication or something with a driver. And so it's going to be delivered late, but it's still on the way. And so it's like, really? That's... I mean, you know, like I, it happens, I guess, but... I haven't seen it happen, so I'm just kind of like, what, why is this happening? So I'm hoping their gift makes it for Christmas. Um, we aren't going anywhere um, this year, so I'm actually thankful for that. I have terrible anxiety when it comes to um, going anywhere. Um, especially, I don't like the highway and stuff because of the high speeds and and whatnot and oh um so yeah I'm I'm happy at home I know some people aren't like that um I don't see my family at Christmas anyway so but I do s normally see them during the summertime but this year of course we um weren't able to get together so that's kind of a a shame but it is what it is, you know, and we will see each other again sometime, you know, so it is what it is, we just go with it. And, you know, and that's this time is a time when you're like thankful that you have your cell phone and stuff so I can still like contact people that way instead. I'm trying to work quick here. 
I might need to use the brush to get in areas on this one because there's the inside of the hand there is like pretty closed. I should test the texture option a little bit more. Um, I don't want to use Tobiah. Oh, it's three o'clock. I gotta start some food. Um, but I don't want to t uh, use Tobiah as a guinea pig for that. So um, she will have my just my normal soft touch varnish as a texture. Which is fine, there's nothing nothing wrong with the texture of this this texture, the sealer at all. Um just it would be kinda nice to have more skin texture and everything. Pounds, 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 pounds. Oh my gosh. There we go. I am so tired today. I'm not really sure if I'll go to bed early, but it feels like one of those kind of nights. <laughs> this is her one of those days where it's like, man, I'm, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. I didn't sleep well again last night. It's just been too warm. Like, unseasonally warm. And then, now, we have snow out there. Um, but like I said, it's warmed up, and so now the snow's going away. And... I, I have been enjoying the warmer winter we've had. It's been really nice, actually. Um, my little one was getting excited and wanted to go to some do some sledding, but it doesn't look like the snow is going to stay, and it's... Um, i got to check for any critters. No critters. Just... It's all... Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to start at the back of her head. Last year, I don't think we... It was cold. It was, like, really cold last year, so we didn't go... I'm just trying to get off any, like, any dust that might be lingering. Um, we didn't do any sledding last year, I don't think. We did it earlier this year, because in um, October, I believe, we had our, like, first snow in that's normal October so we did um, do a little sledding I took lots of pictures and whatnot and yeah it was and it was actually lots of people too tons of people so I'm thinking they were probably happy to be able to get out and do something as well and without a mask that was <laughs> that was nice I hope I'm within frame. I was thinking, like, as long as I don't oops, hold her too close to me, I should be fine. And I think that's how it is. It seems fine. So I'm going to have to go over her two more times. So, um... I'm just going over her once for now and maybe I'll like do another and then pause like um the only like I would start on her second coat right after I was done with varnishing her head because it should be dry to the touch like her she's a little Mm, she's not damp here, but a little bit damp on the back still. Um, but this stuff dries really fast. So, like, I would be able to start on that one arm for sure. Left arm. I think that's one. Yeah. The back arm, I don't think anybody can see it because I don't have the little tree thing showing. I really like that tree thing. I got it. Um, it's just a, um, tree mug, mug tree, whatever it's called, huh? And, um, 
because my other, my munchkin rack thing for bottles can't hold a bigger kit. Like it will, it will fall over. So I don't want that. So yeah, I got the smaller or the bigger rather, sorry. Cause I, some, there's always people asking in, you know, um, artist group and saying, you know, like, what do you use? To, as a drying rack or something, you know, and so somebody was mentioning mug racks, and I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So I actually got mine. I I want to say it's from Amazon. I know the little drying, the bottle drying racks that I use for the um, smaller kits. Those came from um, Amazon. Alright, so she's coming together to do the... Sometimes I leave the inside of the ears and then that is nice. Oh, I've got meat defrosting in the microwave that I need to figure out what to do with. So I'm going to have to go do that. I might have to stop varnishing and go do that. Um, no, I guess I already went over her forehead on this side. I just want to gently smooth out all of the varnish. Oops, I'm holding her too far away, aren't I? I'm sorry. I just realized. So I'm trying to get, I don't want to um, be near the window because then I can't see as well with it, with the like glaring. So that's okay though. All right, so I think she's looking pretty good. Like I said, I'm going to go over her two more times just to get a nice coating. There we go. Okay, so I think she looks really nice. I can't wait to see her with um, hair and everything. She's gonna be beautiful. And I have some beautiful, soft, um, most, like, it's a, there's a slight wave to it, black hair. And I was, um, I got it for a friend's baby, because she requested that. And anyhow, so now, um, I think my friend's gonna have to wait, because I think she, it would be perfect for this one. So we'll see. Um, I ordered some beautiful hair and it took a long time, but you know, it's, um, is what it is, you know, um, I just am happy that it arrived. Like I said, everything's been so slow. I ordered some more eyes from overseas, um, not, um, German eyes. These are acrylic and I've ordered from the um, company before and they always ship just by um, regular post and it takes like four, five, six months to arrive so yeah so now I'd, I um, just got confirmation that the order I put in a couple of weeks ago has been fulfilled and it's on the way but of course it's by the post office so it's going to take for ever to get here. Um, even like DHL has been really slow, but I don't usually, you know, typically, um, the, uh, companies that I use from Germany will ship with UPS. Um, but this last one, I'm guessing because UPS is so expensive. 
Sorry about that. Um, so I'm gonna do a clear coat over the eyes once I get there, and then um, the mouth as well, just to um, make them nice and shiny and whatnot. I did, there was a little, like, I don't know if you can, probably can't tell on this one eye, there was a little, little piece on there, and I scratched it thinking, oh, I'll just try to get that little piece off of there, whatever it is. Well, that wasn't a good idea, because then it, I scratched some of the paint or coloring, whatever it is, off his eye. And I'm like, no! Because I really don't want to have to paint eyes. I've tried it um, with a doll before. Um, I, don't, I don't remember what the doll was now. Um, but I decided to give her like a little bit of a paint up or face up, whatever you want to call it. I think it's face up. Um, I'm just checking to make sure everything kind of, like it has like a little bit of a gritty feel, probably because of the diatomaceous earth, so. He feels like he has been painted enough. So, I did do painted hair on this one. Um, the others, I think they're just too, they're still too hard for like any needle I have that'll penetrate. So I am just... Oh, I guess I don't need that anymore. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, leave it bald, I guess. Um, and then I think that would be fine. I don't see any um, reason why this one can't stay bald. And then you can see, you know, the detail on top and whatnot in the coloring. So, yeah. I think that'll be good. I love these bigger Yodas. I think the face is really cute. But I still I still like the smaller one. The smaller one, I think well, it's a it would be a close what's the word? Cuz I can't decide which one I like the most. I like this one cuz I like the like smiling bit of a smiling um or a smile to the face, I should say. How it's got a little bit of a grin and then the other one when you when it's in the box it doesn't look like it's smiling but when you paint it that smile really comes out and there's just something about the tiny one um when you hold the tiny one it is just super cute Oop. and someone's at the door so I'll be right sorry about that there was a knock at the door so I went ahead and finished sealing one one coat on this little Yoda so I'm gonna set that over and then this is oof I can pick it up this is the second one and hasn't had any varnish I don't know if you can tell I'll grab the other one again okay so top varnish bottom not varnished I tried to make them uh, like pretty close in color I noticed when I was painting them, one was more green and the other was more like bluey. Like the, even though I was using the same colors, they were coming out, one was more on the blue side and the other was more on the, well I guess on the yellow side of things. Which I think is really cool actually, so. I'm getting all kinds of messages. Okay, anyway. I didn't have any messages when I had to answer the door and whatnot, so now I am. Um, anyhow, I've got to go start dinner, so I'm going to rinse my brush and my sponge here, and close that better. So, um, I'll be back, um, maybe I'll show the Yodas when they're done. Like, I don't think I showed, like, I have 3D printed feet that I found on, um, Etsy. There's a shop that sells them. I think it was 87 Canadian for two pairs. That's with shipping, um, which I thought was kind of a lot, but they're pretty cool. So here are my Yoda feet, and I didn't paint the bottoms at all, um, but the tops, if I can, there we go. I um, tried to color them to match the Yoda, so you can see there's a little bit of pattern to them. And then I also painted the nails, and there's 
I have two sets of those. And then, um, let me put down the paintbrush. So here's one set of hands also painted um, to look like the body. So I did take the paint off the nails and repainted them. Uh, and then I do have the little mini Yoda. Um, the body is attached, like sewn on. There's no channels like the neck has. So I decided just to um, leave it um, attached and then I plastic wrapped and taped to protect the body while I painted. So I think the body, oh and I had to change this. This is a channel that I added. This is going to be the color of the other Yodas. It's a dark hunter green. I couldn't find a lighter green. I don't know. Um, I have a turtle green in the mail so maybe it'll be better so anyhow this was glued they glued like super glued the head on and so this will fit in here but um with a cable tie let me see if i can marty really wants in so i should let him in but i just wanted to make the video really quick so this is pretty much how his head will sit so um, then I'm going to fill his body with a pouch of glass beads and then some soft, um, stuffing. My stuffing, if you saw it, um, was beautiful. It was fantastic. It felt like a cloud. It was so soft. And the last batch that I ordered, which was huge, a huge, like, six-foot box downstairs, and it wasn't carded, which means it wasn't fluffy. It's in little little round balls of fluff and someone had ordered some and I didn't check it the new stuff and I had to card myself three pounds of it and that it took three days for my husband and I to both card three pounds by ourselves so anyhow I took it off um, I thought about buying a carding machine if you've seen those they has a small drum and then a big drum and it's got the um uh like metal teeth like a um like the carding um brushes and the brushes i just sat and i put some on one side and then i would kind of like pull and uh then i would peel it off and then put it in the bag and you just keep doing that and it like i said it took forever and um, I kept weighing the bags and they just weren't, it didn't seem like it was going anywhere. And finally, you know, I was just like, okay, I'm taking it down. So I just cart it out of the, like I fill a pretty good size, you know, box. And I cart it myself when I'm going to fill a baby. And I use it for the bodies. I don't use it for the limbs. The limbs I use are more dense, as well as the head, a more dense, because um, I want a more rigid feel. Um, I want the soft, cushy inside the baby body, so it's more um, cuddly and realistic feeling. So, anyhow, I had better let Marty in before he scratches a hole in the door. And thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day.